are hoping to raise awareness for the hostages in Israel, for Israel itself, of course, and, and the conflict and what's going on in Israel. We're going to be here and support until every last hostage is back in Israel. We're here as a peaceful rally. I say to everyone, everyone in Ontario, in Canada, in Toronto, come here to Bathurst and Sep Shepherd and stand up against hate. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Thornhill, Ontario. And folks, I'm at the Shabbat Flamingo Synagogue in Thornhill. And this is the starting point for a car and motorcycle rally that will go down Bathurst to Toronto. And you know, I suspect this will be a horse of a different color compared to what's going on less than two hours away. You see in Niagara Falls, Ontario, in Niagara Falls, New York, Members of the Hitler Youth Movement will be assembling again. They'll be there supporting Hamas. They'll be making their genocidal chants of uh, from the river to the sea and uh, Jews go back to Europe and intifada. But you're not gonna hear that here. Isn't that odd? And you're not gonna hear any other kind of calls for death, vandalism and violence. In any event, we are here with our fantastic billboard truck. Uh, we are gonna join uh, the convoy and follow it down. And in the meantime, why don't we go into the parking lot before they uh, disembark and find out what's bringing these people here and what it is they hope to accomplish. Well, the purpose of this convoy, first and foremost, is to allow the Jewish community in Toronto to feel the Jewish pride that everybody feels like they may or may not have to hide these days. Um, so we're allowing people to, or encouraging people to show their Jewish pride. And we're hoping to raise awareness for the hostages in Israel, for Israel itself, of course, and, and the conflict and what's going on in Israel. And, uh, and mostly just to make people, you know, proud of who they are. People of all backgrounds to stand tall and that show the supporters of terrorism uh, and jihad who are marauding through our streets that we're not going to be intimidated, we're not going to be scared, they're not for one second going to stop us uh, and make us uh, stop standing up for, for Canada, for Canadian values, and certainly that includes Israel. The uh, final destination for this convoy today is the plaza at Bathurst and Shepherd. That's right in the heart of the riding for Liberal MP Yara Sachs a Canadian Israeli Jew who a few months ago went on a junket to the Middle East and um, shook hands with Mahmoud Abbas, uh, Mahmoud Abbas rather. Uh, he literally runs a pay for slay program for Israelis. How is it that somebody who is a federal MP who is Jewish herself is, I guess, all down with the Hamas narrative? Well, I mean, obviously, I think she's, uh, you know, part of a bigger problem, systemic problem with uh, not just the federal government and the Trudeau government, but really, I think, many different levels of government, provincial, municipal and federal, who have simply washed their hands of the whole thing, who simply think that, you know, uh, putting their head in the sand is going to make everything go away. And ultimately, nothing is going to go away until good people of all backgrounds stand up and do something about it. And that just doesn't include uh, elected official, that's politicians, that's uh, university presidents, uh, that's police forces, that's reporters, that's your average person who says, oh boy, you know, what happened to our society? What happened to our country? Well, it's happening now. And so the question is, are you going to be part of fixing it or not? And that's incumbent upon every single one of us. Israel! 
we're basically hoping to firstly let everyone in Israel, all the soldiers from the IDF know that we're here to support the whole community and everyone that shows up every week for the last 42 weeks is here to send a message that we're going to be here and support until every last hostage is back in Israel. We're speaking to our community. This is not about hate. This is our 42nd consecutive rally. Everyone has been peaceful. People who come and give us the finger, we just let them go by. We're not interested in engaging. It's all about peace and love and finding a way to bring our hostages home and letting our soldiers know that we're going to be with them as long as they're in Gaza, as long as they're in the West Bank and they're in the north fighting, we'll be here with them. Rain, snow, shine, freezing temperature, boiling temperature, we're going to be here for them. People my age that are fighting and giving their lives for the existence of a country and are coming home, if not injured and dead, then, then emotionally um, compromised. And it's just horrible to see that people so privileged in Canada have the audacity to say what they do. Um, when there's 19-year-old guys my age that are fighting for the existence of a country. It's terrible how much uh, propaganda there is out here. Um, we just want to also show our presence, you know. We sometimes feel alone in Canada, you know. The pro-Hamas demonstrators are everywhere. They took over, you know, U of T. They have such, uh, unfortunately, they have such tremendous power. So we want to show that, you know, we're here. We're here to stay. We're not going to be intimidated. And also just, you know, it brings smiles to the community. Um, when we stand together like this. This is 42nd week. We've been here at the corner of Bathurst and Shepherd. I've been here as many weeks as I can, almost every week. And I want to stand with my community, stand with Giddy, stand with the organizers, and send one message that there's no country in the world that would leave anybody behind. Well, folks, I'm with Hetty, and we spoke briefly off camera. Hetty had a brother and a sister murdered in Auschwitz, the death camp, and here we are barely 80 years away from that time, a, a time in which the, the, the phrase had eight never again emerged. And yet, what do you make of what you see in the streets of Western democracies, people openly chanting for the genocide of the Jewish people? I cannot believe what's going on. Especially, I can't believe that they don't believe that what happened about October 7th. And I, they can't believe that there was a Holocaust. There's people that, and I have, not only I, but I have proof. But I can't believe, I can't believe that people can do this to other people again and say this is a genocide in, in, in Israel, in, in the West Bank, in, in Gaza. We didn't start up with them. I'm very troubled by people who are standing on the same side of the street who find any justification in the murder of October 7th, the atrocities that took place, the holding of babies as hostages to be traded in exchange for terrorists who have blood on their hands. This is hardly the country that many of us recognize when we hear things like that, that you shouldn't go out with your Magen David, you shouldn't be proud of your country. It's remarkable to me. What do your parents feel about you being in the IDF? Let's Let's face it, you're in a very dangerous neighborhood. When you put on that uniform, you're a target. How do they feel about you defending the state of Israel? I originally grew up in Toronto. My parents are Israeli. They moved in the year 2000. My mom always talked good things about Israel growing up and how much she would like to move back, but she's here for work. And um, I grew up really, really loving Israel and my extended family, everyone's in Israel. I knew after high school that I wanted to move there and do something for myself and for the country that I love. And my parents, my mom supports me 100%. She tells me that she wants me to go after my heart and do what I love. And Israel is the country that I love and want to give everything to. I want to talk a bit about my friends that are fighting in Gaza. And uh, one of my good friends that was actually a counselor of mine um, in the group of lone soldiers, she was murdered at Nova on October 7th. Her name is Gili Adar Gili. 
I love you and your family so much and it's so horrible that you're not here anymore, but I'm doing this for you and I put a sticker up for your family over there and thank you Orna and Eldad for all of your support and for the fact that you brought Gili to me and I'm just trying to carry on her legacy. And we will stand here until those hostages are returned. So you see, on October the 7th, hostages were taken brutally against their will and are being held in Gaza, and it's not fair. And people have told us, stop coming here to Bathurst and Shepherd. Just go on with your lives. And we said no. We said there is no country in the world that for, would forget about their own, their own citizens. Well, I want to make sure that our community knows that hate has no place here. We all have an equal right to live safely in our community. We have an equal right to wake up our kids and to see them off to school and to check in on our parents and to go to work and to come home and to pray. What do you say about uh, the expulsion of Goldie Gamery, who was very pro-Israel in the uh, Doug Ford PCs? Well, again, I can't comment on that. The Premier has spoken. What I can tell you is the Premier is concerned with the rise of hate. The Premier recognizes that our Ontario is diverse. It's made up of communities that have come from all over the world. And I'll tell you something. It doesn't matter where we came from or how we got here. We have an equal right to live safely in our communities. Yara Sachs, a few months ago, she went off to the Middle East, had a photo op, shook hands with Mahmoud Abbas, literally a terrorist that runs a pay-for-slay operation against Israelis. How do you make sense of her actions? What I say to people, let them come to Bathurst and Shepherd. Let them come and stand with this community to remember about the hostages. We have to stand up against hate. We have to stand up against values that are not ours. And that's why we're here, because we're here as a peaceful rally. I say to everyone, everyone in Ontario, in Canada and Toronto come here to Bathurst and Shepherd and stand up against hate. A few months ago, Police Chief Marion Demku had a meeting with Justin Trudeau. A lot of people are asking why. He doesn't take his marching orders from the Prime Minister. Do you think it was to tell the Toronto Police to turn a blind eye to the pro-genocide, uh, pro-Hamas people and to arrest uh, those with contrarian opinions? because I don't know why in the first place the Prime Minister is meeting with the Toronto Police Chief. Well, I can tell you this. I stand up every day and thank the Toronto Police Service, the OPP, Municipal Police Services across our province. I stand up and thank the First Nations Police Services because they have been a an important, an important protector, especially of our Jewish communities throughout Ontario, including here. So Aaron, here we are at the final destination, Bathurst and Shepherd. What reaction was the car and motorcycle convoy getting as you drove here? It was incredible. People were beeping, waving. Um, they were inspired. Everybody was thrilled to see us. We stopped at various points so that everybody could catch up to each other. Um, we stopped on Lawrence Avenue to let the line catch up. And then we stopped again on Shepherd to roll into here together. Um, and, and honestly, the reactions were incredible. Um, it's such an inspirational event that the community comes out for and, and to really show that uh, you know, we're proud Jews, we're, we're proud of Israel, we're proud of Canada, uh, the Canadian values, we're not so proud of the leadership currently, um, but we are proud to be Canadian and, and to support both countries in, in no uncertain terms. I mean, that's what we did today. You know, folks, it's such a joy coming to a pro-Israel rally. You know why? I don't hear chants for genocide. I don't see vandalism being committed. I don't see assault being committed. Wow, talk about a horse of a different color. Like you, we have had it up to here with certain people chanting for genocide in the streets of Canadian cities. If you feel like we do, please go to deporthamas.com. That's deporthamas.com. And tell these people, many of whom aren't even Canadian citizens, 
if this is the way you feel, if this is the way you're going to act, time to pack your bags and go.